What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Papillon. Let's rock this. To say that this Papillon is an unnecessary remake would be the understatement of the year. Other than a few new interesting cinematic choices, I would argue that you could get the same exact results out of watching the previous adaptation starring Dustin Hoffman and the late great Steve McQueen. But I do have to give mad credit to Charlie Hunnam for his extraordinary physical transformation. Not sure if he would get remembered this upcoming award season because as we all know, great acting is more than just about losing weight, but it's definitely worth noting. Based on the book and true story of Henry Papillon Charrier, I hope I pronounced that name correctly, Charlie Hunnam plays the title character, a safecracker from Parisian underworld framed for murder and condemned to life in an infamous prison island where he's determined to escape. He forms an unlikely alliance with a convicted counterfeiter, Louis Dega. I admit, I do like the casting choices. Charlie Hunnam and Rami Malek look like they could be the long-lost carbon copies of Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman, just from the appearances alone. The cinematography and the set designs for this film are breathtaking. That falls under what I said earlier with regards to this film having new interesting cinematic choices. Because from the technical standpoint, this film obviously excels a bit more compared to the 1973 version, which as I recalled, I watched it on VHS when I was younger, and I remember it being super long, but I also ended up admiring it as what I consider to be one of all-time greatest prison break movies. This new take is also a bit more engaging in some parts because it doesn't waste too much time. Something always happens every five minutes or so. Yes, it's grand and epic in its scale, but it doesn't drag despite the two hours and 15 minutes runtime. But I stand by my opinion that this is an unnecessary remake. Because it's not like the previous version was worse and this one made it better, no. And it's not like this one elevates the story to new heights, no. Look, both of them are solid, each in their own way. Even the friendship theme, which is at the heart of the story, is still as strong, whether it's Dustin and Steve who convey it, or Charlie and Rami. By the way, it really is a sweet friendship story between Papillon and Louis Dega. It's more than just bromance. I mean, they're willing to go the distance and sacrifice for each other. One step further and they might go into Brokeback Mountain territory. It is that sweet and heartfelt. Overall, I think this new Papillon movie does a decent job of retelling one of the most remarkable prison break survival stories ever told. So that's it, that's my review of Papillon. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTubeverse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. This latest review is made possible thanks to your support on Patreon, so please go to patreon.com slash ramascreen, sign up there today and become my patrons. Let's rock this.